what's going on guys this is a brand new start to a brand new series here on the channel i've actually been really excited to start this for quite some time i am not much of an mmo player to be completely honest and that reason alone was the reason why i never really got into eso or elder scrolls online but as you guys probably already know i'm a big fan of the elder scrolls series and eso is just another addition to that that i get to enjoy here on the channel but admittingly again i'll say it again i've never been an mmo type of guy i played world of warcraft many many years ago and that only lasted for a year while i was deployed in afghanistan on my first deployment so once I got out of there, I just kind of went back to single player games and that's kind of the end of my MMO journey. So this is me going back into that whole genre of gameplay, if you will. And I'm excited to do it here on the channel with you guys. So I was very intimidated to get into ESO because of the MMO aspect to it. It's very confusing. It's a lot going on. So I had to go to YouTube for some tips or beginner guides so i want to do a quick shout out to four different channels i have them right here on my other screen and i'm going to read them off to you so shout out to these channels one lucky ghost two bro we got this three hack the minotaur and four dots gaming those four channels had great beginner starter guides that frankly speaking did wonders for me as a uh, as far as knowledge goes so i feel pretty much prepared to get into this game so enough yapping for me this is a very long intro i really want to join this or get started on this game very excited to play this game if you are excited to watch this let's play do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said enough yapping let's jump right into this so let's go ahead and talk to what is her name? Nori and we? Nori and we. There you are, on your feet. I know magical translocation can really upset the stomach. Just take a moment and get your bearings, all right? Sure. Where am I? The Isle of Balfiera, home of Clan Dorini. I apologize for the cramped accommodations. We pride ourselves on courtesy, but circumstances here have taken a turn for the bizarre. I needed to make sure you weren't a danger to yourself or others. I'm not. Even though you're kind of insinuating that I'm either homicidal or suicidal, which both are incorrect, but sure. Can you let me out, please? You might not be so eager to escape once you hear what's going on. You arrive via a portal, along with a deatric beast called Shyazel. It seized control of our golems and unleashed them on the island. If I free you, will you help me stop Shyazel? I mean, it, it does sound like a decent deal. So yeah, uh, set me free and I'll help you. Wise choice. Just give me a moment. There. Haha, -ha, I lied. Unlock the door. Just kidding. When you're ready, follow me. Yes, ma'am. Right behind you. Hi, Nori and we. There you are. Free as a spring cricket. I hope you intend to keep your word. We'll need each other out there. Of that, I'm certain. The name's Norianwe, by the way, of Clan Dorini. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I totally butchered her name, but it's okay. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Where are we headed? We're bound for a place called the Key Rites Gallery. But first, I need to know you can defend yourself. Hurtling through the orbis and falling flat on your ear left you a bit scattered. Find a weapon. And we'll work out the cobwebs. Fair. Yeah. Uh, but first I have some questions. Of course. I can't promise total transparency, but I'll be as forthcoming as I can. What are, uh, what are you doing here? Nothing irresponsible, <laughs> if that's what you're asking. I'm a member of Clan Dorini's intelligence guild, the Cinderum. More scholar than spy, I assure you. I was conducting some research in the gallery, then pop! You and that monster arrived. Why, uh, why were you studying this place? The gallery's always been a place of special interest for the guild. But we never quite cracked how it worked. Despite the dangers, this is our greatest breakthrough to date. The guild master will be ecstatic, provided we get it under control. So you mentioned a key rights gallery. What is that place? The key rights gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island, built long before my clan arrived. 
Good to know. Why is this called uh, the Keyrights Gallery? On account of all the doors, the gallery is full of ancient gates, each with some arcane connection to places in Tamriel and beyond. Once the gates came to life, rifts opened. You fell out of one of them. The Daedra, Shiazel, emerged from another. Good to know. How did you escape in particular? I cast an incantation of the steed, snatched you up, and fled as fast as my feet would carry me. I heard the Daedra cursing, followed by some kind of explosion, but I didn't look back. I hope the gallery is still standing. Good to know. Uh, so you said something about golems? What? What's going on here exactly, please? Would it frustrate you to hear that I have no idea? We Dureni are cautious by nature, so the Isle of Volfiera has many defenses. Magical stone guardians protect many of our sacred sites, but somehow this Daedra found a way to turn them against us. That's not good. Can you describe the Daedra, Shay, uh, that man? Ugh, do I have to? If I recall my studies correctly, I'd say it's a harvester. A huge serpentine creature that feeds on souls and magicka. If it finds a way to consume the energies of the gallery, we will be in very serious trouble. Good to know. I like her outfit. It looks pretty good, actually. And it fits her character very well. Okay, so these are the weapons. I think I'm gonna go with sword and shield. Great axe. Daggers. Bow. Fire staff. That sounds pretty cool. Healing staff. Yeah, I think sword and shield is what is calling my name the most. So let's go ahead and take Long all. Weapons like staves and great axes Press. will take both hands to use. You can pair smaller weapons with a shield or another weapon of that size. Yes, okay. I think that one suits you. If you change your mind, feel free to take any other weapon you want. Now, let's find a spot to practice. I want this one. Okay. Ooh, can I just jump right there? Wait. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm like missing out on. I'm not gonna really loot inside of this place. This is just a starting area, anyways. So, I'll probably do all the looting and stuff once I get out. So, I'll do some light looting here. Ooh. Uh, yes. Got myself my first recipe. Alright. We're golden here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, God. I'm ready for it. For Narnia! This is as good a place as any. Now, prepare yourself. When prepare for trouble. Dancing. <laughs> Let's begin. What's up, Broski? Top marks. Well, if it's not obvious, I do have some uh, add-ons on this game. I'm not completely new. Oh God. Strike while it's off balance. Nice. Well done. Rocket strike. Use your head. Okay. I see. I see. So. It puts him off balance if I block that move. Now some foes will try to restrain you. What does that mean? Quickly, break free. Uh okay. Oh, it takes stamina away too. Again, make ready. Prepare yourself. Got you. I've learned your moves. Now, now press your advantage with a heavy attack. Too easy. Again, Way ahead of you. Hold its attack. Got him. Interrupt now. Haha. When your enemy prepares an attack, good. Now destroy it. Too easy. And Dunskies. Well done. Ooh. Come speak with me for a moment. So heavy. I guess that's determining what I'm going to be wearing. So what did I say? Uh, level two F claim now. Uh, attribute and skill point. So we'll take that for sure. And. I think we're just gonna go with health. Yeah, let's go with health. So, really quick though, I'm not a complete stranger to this game. I have played this game before, a while ago, and uh, I, I have like a wood elf bow character. And uh, I only played it, the game for like about a week and I didn't do any story missions. I did do them, but I didn't pay attention to them. I just kind of clicked through them. I think most people do that anyways. But I'm gonna focus on the story in this Let's Play, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna learn a lot together, actually. With moves like that, the Daedra doesn't stand a chance. Yes, I'd say we're ready to set out. Where are we headed at? Uh, headed towards now. To reach the Keyrides Gallery, 
We have to make it out of this ruin and across a wide field full of the golems I mentioned. With any luck, we'll be able to slip past them. But I'm not all that lucky, so I'm sorry in advance. It's okay. I, I'll I'll take care of it. Uh, so where are we headed next? Uh, we'll we'll head there next. What can we expect to encounter inside the gallery? Well, it begins with the door, the first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Once we pass through that initial door, we'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. Why does it worry you? I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. Got you. We'll be prepared to fight. Don't worry. I've already established this. I'm prepared for trouble. Make it double. Will dealing with Shiazel pacify the golems? I can't say anything with certainty, but ridding the world of an otherworldly abomination can't hurt, right? Its influence might linger for a time, but the golems should return to normal before too long. Hopefully. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go. Haha, -ha, I'm first. I definitely left some things back there, but it's okay. Uh, there's still a couple here anyways. Uh, iron gauntlets. Heavy. Nord. So let's put those on. I'm putting on a bunch of stuff, aren't I? What do we have next? So that's light, but I don't want that. She said stray golems? Oh, I see them. I'm not sneaking past anything. Check this out. Got him! Haha! -ha. Dunzo. Wait, did I have a skill? I think I forgot to put on a skill. Okay. So, class. This stuff is class. I think I want... Okay, so these are passive abilities, so I guess those are what stays on the whole, like, period. And these are moves? Yes. Thrust your weapon with disciplined precision and it, uh, at an enemy dealing 2,054 physical damage and taunting them to attack, for, uh, attack you for 15 seconds. Also inflicts major breach on the enemy, reducing their physical attack and... Spell resistance by 5,948 for 15 seconds. I think I want to put my first skill point in my main weapon set. So, I'm going for that. So, I should have... Hold on. I should have one... Uh, how do I... Skills? Yeah, okay. So, I have one... Is binded now. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into the next room. Ooh, let's loot these right here. That's empty. Rawhide, that's medium. I think I already just I already decided that I'm gonna go with a heavy, heavy build anyways, so. Oh! Let's hurry. Whoa, what what did I just do? How did I Okay. So I'm assuming this is light, medium, and heavy. Just by the appearance, it looks like it's scaling up, so. Since I'm going with heavy, I might as well grab these. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So let me go here. This is actually better. Right? Yeah, and it has training. Which increases experience gained from kills by 7%. Yeah, this is better, definitely. I should be leveling up a lot quicker this way. So I guess it does pay off to search these urns. I'm not even going to pronounce that. It's a berry. Lockpicks. Sure, why not? Decorative wax and some ash. Did I miss it? She is not happy. Look at her. Are you alright there? What is wrong? Okay. Um, she's just moody. Kirai's gallery should be east of here. Let's set out. Okay, east. Tracking. First, there's nothing in these things. Okay, this one has one. 
It's right. Oh, obviously, uh, I have uh, ESO plus. Uh, I. It should come with like all the DLCs or something like that. So maybe we'll do those. But I kind of want to do the main storyline first before anything. I do want to get the whole story in its entirety. I should probably get my weapon out. Oh, dude, there's like some, like some big cat right there. I should probably probably be careful. Ooh, look. It's another golem. Let's attack it. Because why not? What's up, broski? Interrupt. And sit your butt down. Dude, I'm, I'm too good at this game. Oh, God, he hit me. Did she heal me, by the way? It kind of seemed like she healed me. Dude, that's another one if I ever saw one. What's up, bro? Oh, God. Oh, I didn't interrupt that one? Rude. Got him. So heavy armor increased to three. I like it. Puncture increased to rank two. Oh, that, I almost got attacked by that cat. That cat's kind of scary. Ooh. Uh. Okay, all. Nice. I like it. Come on. Oh, I did get him. All right. Oh, dude. You came out of nowhere, broski. I should have interrupted that. It's okay. I still took him. The Kiroid's gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Yes, ma'am. First, I gotta search these. It's my it's my instinct. I, I just I just I have to, you know. It's 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 mandatory. Oh, dude, you scared me, Mr. Catman. Ooh, more stuff. Wait, really quick. What am I missing? I'm missing the head, the pauldrons, and a belt. Uh, so those are bracers. That doesn't look heavy. No, those are medium. That helmet doesn't even look heavy. These gauntlets look heavy. Bam! So what I need? I need head, pauldrons, belt. Head, pauldrons, belt. Belt. None of this looks heavy. Sash? Is that heavy? Not even close. It's the exact antithesis of heavy. It's extremely light. Oh, there's more over here. That's just the helmet. Let's check. Yeah, it's what I thought. It wasn't heavy. Ooh, that one definitely. That's gotta be heavy. That's gotta be heavy. Girdle. Ooh. Okay, so I got that. That. And that. Did Was that heavy? It is. So I should have a full heavy set, right? Yep. I'm golden. I got a full set and I look fantastic. Let me get in the light. Sexy. Just pure sexiness. What can I say? I am the manifestation of perfection. Jeffa's bone. The surge of magicka created by the portals you came through. Ugh, must have cracked this sky shard. Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked, and there's no way for us to proceed. Damn. Is there any way to fix it? Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory. No, there's nothing for it. We need to find a replacement. So, if that's the case, where can we find this replacement sky shard? I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago, but it was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Normally, I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, I think we have to risk it. Alright, so let's find that scar uh, sky shard. Can I ask you something before we set out, though? Of course. Let's not tarry too long, though. What is this sky shard you speak of? Giant clusters of meteoric glass. They fall from Aetherius, charged with raw and very potent magicka. Mages use sky shards in all kinds of rituals and experiments. We Dureni use them as a power source. Got it. What kind of golem? Uh, golem? Golem? Did you see uh, near the sky shard? It's a monstrous sentinel called a gargoyle. 
I've never seen one fight, but by all accounts, they are far more powerful than the golems we faced thus far. Hey, I'm not worried about it. Let's go. Hold on. Oh, I have to go back outside? Let's go. You, sir, are gonna die, Mr. Golem guy thing. And I'm gonna laugh as I do it. Maybe not laugh, but... Do you see that vault to the south? South? The yes. Okay. Too easy. Hiya! Oh man, I really thought I could jump all the way across. Not even close. Ooh, I want this butterfly. What was that? Okay, that cat's dead. Sky Shard Vault. I like how it's called the Sky Shard Vault. Well, there's more armor here. There's a lot of armor everywhere, isn't there? But I already have a full set, so I'm not really worried about it. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's big. Stab mode. What's up, broski? And she's healing me. He's pounding on the ground like a maniac. He's already dead. Ah! I'm learning. I'm learning a thing or two. Foul hide? Don't mind if I do. Sky Shard, you're mine. What? Did you just absorb the energy of that shard? I guess so. Incredible. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. Let's head back to the gate. Yes, ma'am. Where's the Oh yeah, that's back outside, isn't it? It's the first place we came or the place we got uh came from before this place. Too easy. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's just the intro. So let's go. Oh my god, this thing scared. It scared me. <laughs> like, legit scared me. Interruption! It actually feels pretty good. I, I want... I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm gonna focus more on, like, health and vitality versus attack power so i want to be like the tankiest thing you can imagine so i'm probably going to put in a lot of points into health and see how that goes for me hopefully it works out whoa yes where are you oh you're over here hey i can't click on you there you go I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. I think I'm fine, to be honest. Uh, do you have any advice on how to slay this thing? Again, I'm just a scholar. But I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep moving, strike true, and exploit any opening the creature gives you. Oh, dude, it's on like Donkey Kong. Wait. Oh, it's empty. Let's loot this room really fast. Empty. Some lockpicks. You just never know what we're going to find. Plus, these lockpicks can probably come in handy later. Natural water. Uh, An iron dagger. I'll take it. I'll probably sell it at the first vendor I see. So, there's that. Oh, snap! Send it back to oblivion. Yes, ma'am! Oh, how did I do that? It didn't work. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing terribly. Keep moving, she said. Well, she missed her attack. I need to get used to this. All right. Only I will a, a bash, basher. I don't think I'm doing much. Oh, I gotta get back. How do I roll? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, uh. I thought I was supposed to be able to jump. Okay. She is beating my butt, dude. Not gonna lie. Puncture. Okay, I'm dazed or something. Stop it! And 
Well, she's almost dead. Ah! There we go. I got no stamina. Oh, snap. But she's dead. I hope. Nice! We did it! You did it! Yes! Hopefully the gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Increases maximum health by 800. I'm putting that on. So... Uh... Yes. So I... I can put on two rings... And appearance. Not sure what appearance is. There's nothing to loot in here? Well, that's rude. Okay, let's let's go. Key rights gallery. Oh, we're finally here. Oh, that looks interesting. Where are we going, Norian? Uh, Norian Way. I'm I'm butchering that again. I I just know it. Dude, I'm getting a ton of lockpicks in here. It's crazy. I'm assuming lockpicks are very common. Recipe red eye bear? Beer. Increased health recovery. Nice. Lockpicks. You see what I mean? Lockpicks are everywhere down here. I'm assuming... Well, a bookshelf. What does that do? Okay, so I could read. Is that all it does? Just reading? Okay, we'll click on it just in case. Look at the central column. I had no idea it was concealing something like this. Let's get a closer look. Yes, ma'am. First, I gotta gain knowledge. All right, knowledge. I think in that in one of the videos that I uh, saw on YouTube, it said to read all of these because it can give you, like, training or something. So this should be help helping me. I I'm not sure if there's a bar that's supposed to show up that gives me some of that stuff so I don't know I'm figuring this out with you guys what was that so this is uh lightweight and Khajiit so and I, I don't think it matters the race attached to the the gear but it doesn't hurt to pick up and sell regardless I think we're golden let's go ahead and talk to her because clearly she wants Oh wait, now I can talk now to her. I see why we never managed to unlock the gates. Their power comes from this arcane helix. Oh, that looks awesome. Amazing. With the helix exposed, these gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question for you, I suppose, is where to first? That looks like that reminds me of Oblivion. All right, so what what do you mean? Can you believe this? Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling with magic. The Keyrite's gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. Uh, why is that? What do you mean? Why did it come to life? Because of you. Matters in Aww. Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. The Second Era needs a savior. I believe the gallery. Perhaps even the adamantine tower itself chose you. I think they're talking about the... I think she's talking about the DLC. She looks so sad. Look at her. Oh, I feel I feel like I want to give her a hug. She looks like she wants to cry. Uh, so what do you think I should do next? The Keyrite's gallery opened doors to every corner of Tamriel. Places I suspect that desperately need a hero's aid. This choice is yours to make. But wherever you choose to go, I'm sure adventure awaits. May the stars protect you. Okay, thank you. This box supposedly belongs to you through your memory of its hazy... No, okay, whatever. Let's go. So, have you chosen where to go? What region of the world strikes your fancy? Not everyone gets to pass instantly from one side of Tamriel to another, you know. This is quite a gift. Very true. Any thoughts of where I should go? It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel is stretched out before you. We could start with the political considerations. Three great alliances vie for control of Cyrodiil. Does the fate of the Pact, Covenant, or Dominion interest you? Yeah, it does. I would like to travel to Alliance territory. Excellent. 
You can visit Stros Mackay in Daggerfall Covenant territory, an island called Kanathi's Roost that the Aldmeri Dominion set its eyes on, or the Ebonheart Pact domain. So for me, it's Stros Mackay then, for the Daggerfall Covenant, because that's the co uh, covenant that I chose. So on second thought, I might want to travel outside the borders of the three great alliances. I don't blame you. Interprovincial intrigue is the basis of my whole profession, and even I find it tiresome after a while. I suppose that widens the map a bit. So where else could I find adventure? Well, as I said before, threats to Tamriel have grown like weeds practically everywhere. Would you prefer to spend time among my elven kin, the Khajiit of elsewhere, or men of the north and south? Uh... Tell me about the men you mentioned. Certainly. One of these gates up here to go to western Skyrim. A mystical kingdom of Nord led by King Svargrin. The other leads to Blackwood, at the southern tip of Cyrodiil. Imperial remnants rule there. Oh! That's cool. My people. So what's the situation in Blackwood? Our agents are investigating a handful of strange Daedric structures hidden away in the swamps near Gideon and Leowin. I honestly couldn't tell you how they got there, but the presence of Daedric anything in Tamriel is always cause for concern. I mean, that's fair. What can you tell me about elsewhere? According to our spies, the land of the Catfolk is in sorry shape. Imperial holdouts sit upon the throne and a rage of dragons spilled out of the halls of Colossus, burning everything in their path. If it's adventure you seek, you'll find it there. Good to know. So you mentioned elves, too. Where can I find them? If you take the gate to Vardenfell, you can meet the Dark Elves and maybe even the God King, Vivek. You could also travel south to Somerset Isle. Our ancestral home and the primary seat of power for the High Elves. Good to know. Is there work to do on Somerset Isle? Always. Though the natives don't make it easy. High Elves of Somerset don't share the Dorenis pragmatism. They're often too proud to ask for help. But our agents reported some strange activity around the Crystal Tower. It's probably worth a look. So we already clicked on these two? Uh, this is like what he was. she was talking about, like Skyrim, Western Skyrim and all that stuff. And this is obviously Vardenfell. So, goodbye. Ooh. And I get to level up. So I have Crown Fortifying Meal increases max health 5,892. Max Magicka by 6,300. And max, whoops, and max Stamina by 6,300 for two hours. That's not bad. These effects are scaled based on your level. So I guess it gets better as I get higher in level. Let's go with health again. Commit points. Uh, slash, should I go for that? I don't know. I think I'm going to hold off for this. Let me know if I should get this down in the comment section down below. I'm not entirely sure. Wait, heavy armor? Oh, this is this is good. Increases your physical and spell resistance by 114 for each heavy and I have 7. I think I'm going to go with this. I hope I didn't mess it up. So yeah, okay, we'll go with that. So let's go around. Dude, look at all these portals. Okay, so this is Kinnereth's Roost. That's one of the battlefields, I believe, for the three. Stros Mackay, this is probably most likely where I'm going to go. This is Bleakwood Isle. I think that's the third starting place. That's Vardenfell. I'm pretty sure that's where uh, the Somerset DLC was. Uh, this is Western Skyrim. I believe the Western Skyrim DLC was gr the Greymoor DLC. Uh, yeah, I, I believe the Western Skyrim was the, the Greymoor DLC. Sorry, I had to fix my camera real quick. Uh, oh no, wait, this is Somerset Isle. Not 100% sure what happened. Vardenfell and Somerset Isle, I guess, are two different things. And then Elsewhere, of course, is the Els Elsewhere DLC. So then where's Grey... Oh, this is Blackwood. 
Okay, so this is... This is the latest DLC that came out. So, we're gonna go to Stros Mackay. Stros Mackay. It's a fascinating island with rich dwarven and red god history. Alas, it's been largely overrun by pirates. If the gallery elected to open a portal to the island, something extraordinary must be occurring. So, ready to set out. Yeah, I'm ready. Travel to Sto uh, Stros Mackay and start the Daggerfall Covenant storyline. Yes. This should be exciting. Discovered port tundling. Uh, M is map, right? Oh, that looks cool. Let's go ahead and head out to the brand new world.